Welcome to Arts at a Distance with Miss Noel. I am the uh, Arts Education Consultant with Merced County Office of Education, and I'm so excited on this Toe Tapping Tuesday to bring you a little bit of dance, and not just dance, but a really innovative kind of dance. Um, I am spending a lot of time right now, obviously in my house, but more than that, I'm trying to make sure I'm not leaving my house to gather the materials that I'm gonna be needing for these lessons. So I'm gonna send you guys off to gather some materials in the beginning, and then we are going to go ahead and use those materials that you just scavenged from kind of around your house to create a tap shoe. Uh, I am going to go ahead and assume that you don't own tap shoes. I have been a tapper for many, many years of my life, and there are some points in time when I don't own tap shoes. In all honesty, I think the pair that's inside are ones that I've borrowed from someone else. So tap shoes are not always around, but that doesn't mean that you can't tap. It doesn't mean that you can't learn and work on what it is that we are all working on together today. So there's a couple of things I want you to go get. And after I list those off to you, we are going to do a quick stretch. If you miss the stretch because you are gathering materials, that's okay. While we're all putting together our tap shoes, you can continue to stretch out. Okay. So first things first, here is what you need. One, four coins. What I've got here are quarters. I picked the biggest coin that I had at my disposal. If you have something bigger that is, you know, will make kind of a tinny tapping sound, then absolutely you can use that too. But I would suggest quarters. The weight of them is good. The size of them is good. Uh, grab four of those from around your house. Tape. Uh, I've seen this done with Scotch tape, I've seen it done with athletic tape. By far, I would suggest duct tape. I use it for all of my projects, obviously. So it's also what is quick and at my disposal. But if you have a strong piece of tape, definitely uh, grab it for this. Do not use glue for this project. For most of my projects, you can kind of vary in between, but most of my projects are also on things that uh, that are are sit within themselves, right? That they are not using something else that you're gonna have to turn back into what it is before. And that is not what's happening with this project. So make sure you don't use glue because you're going to have to remove these taps from these shoes, right? After that, I need you to get a hard soled shoe. Now, when I say hard soled, I don't mean that they are uh, some kind of metal soles. I just mean that they are uh, able to hold some kind of tap, right? I would recommend that they be closed toed because we are gonna be dropping on our toes just a little bit and I don't want you to hurt yourself. So don't grab some flip flops for me, but grab anything that will work on the bottom. If they are split soled, as in there is a space right here and you can easily bend them, that's even better. Obviously I went with these because one, they were close to me and two, they're not ideal. So we'll show you how you can tap even in a not ideal shoe. And last but not least, I'm sure you guys can see that I've got this white piece over here that I, that's been holding all of my materials. This is an old piece of shelf, uh, an old, as you can see in the back, multi-purpose shelf. It did not end up getting used in my home and it's been sitting in the garage forever. Instead of going inside and trying to hunt and find a place that I'm okay tapping on, I'm gonna use this as my tap floor for the moment. Now, if you have a hardwood floor or a tile floor, any of those will work for tapping. Uh, otherwise, try and grab a something that is hard that you can use. Honestly, I've used uh, tables before, like folding tables. If you leave them unfolded and on the ground, those will work. What I recommend you not doing is going outside with concrete. Uh, we want to get used to not tapping on concrete. That will ruin a tap shoe if you're working with a real tap shoe, right? So find a surface, find a uh, adhesive of some kind, tape, find coins, find hard soled shoes, and while you guys are looking for those, we're gonna do some very quick stretches, okay? First and foremost, we're gonna take both of our feet and we're going to press them together right here. We're going to hold on with both of our hands. Right hand is holding onto our right ankle, left hand is holding onto our left ankle 
which gives us the correct posturing to be able to drop our right elbow onto the inside of our right knee and our left elbow onto the inside of our left knee, right? Now, what I'm doing here is I'm getting a nice stretch on the insides of my thighs and the insides of my hip. This is super important for any time when you are gonna be moving in general. Uh, I'm gonna do very quick stretches today because we're already running out of time and we don't wanna do that. So our stretches are gonna be very, very minimal. The next thing I want you to do is instead of going straight ooh, down, I want you to start bending forward and putting a little bit more weight on the insides of those legs. Start the bend, start the bend, start the bend, and now you can release. That's a very good stretch and I like that stretch. We can come right back up. Now we're going to be concentrating mostly on our ankles and feet for this class. It's a very common technique for young tappers to teach them to work the knee back and forth. And personally, I try to avoid that. We're gonna ignore that today. Instead, we're gonna be doing a lot of work with our ankle. So I want you to roll that ankle for me, just on both sides. One side first, we're going to point and flex, point and flex, get used to working that ankle a little bit. Other side now, roll that ankle for me. Excellent. And then we're going to point and flex, point and flex. Those are the muscles that we're going to are going to be really really working during this exercise. Okay. Since we've got our shoes here now, what we're going to be doing is taking four small pieces of tape. And by small, I still mean big enough to be able to roll into, you know, kind of a tube with all of the adhesive on the outside, right? That's what you want. You want to be able to roll it, and then you want to take the coin and press it there so that you've got a coin with tape on it, and then you're going to aim for somewhere towards the top, towards the toe, but not at the toe, and on the ball of the foot, right? Right about there should hopefully work pretty well. See that? Look at my dirty shoe. I'm sorry about that. And then the other coin that goes on this shoe is going to go on the heel. We're going to, come on tape, you can do it. Here we go. We're gonna take again that coin, place the tape on it, and then press that tape against the heel of the shoe. Just like that, see? Now, if you're using a strong adhesive like duct tape, this actually should be working pretty well. Um, I can generally do an exercise like this and tap through uh, about 15 to 20 minutes pretty, uh, um, pretty aggressively, right? Uh, do, do some pretty energetic tapping and uh, still maintain the quality of hold of the taps on my shoes. Now, obviously that's not what we're gonna be doing today. We're just going to be going through some very, very simple stuff so that you can practice it for the next time we get to meet. Okay, so now that both of your shoes have taps on them, you're going to put them on. I'm going to, I have obviously, as you can tell, I've done such a good job matching my socks today with everything else I'm doing. Let's be honest, we're all lucky that I have matching socks at all, so that's okay. All right, so now we've got our shoes on, and more than that, we are going to set up our hard flat surface, right? So. This is a very small flat surface. What I'm gonna do is leave it right here in the middle so that the camera can see it just like that. And I'm gonna be working on top of it and switching back and forth between each foot so you can see what each foot looks like. We're gonna start with two very simple moves today. The first is something called a shuffle and that is where we take the ball of one foot and we scuff it forward and then we scuff it back. Forward, back, forward, back. Good. So as you can see, yes, I am using my knee. My knee is going back and forth, but the main thing that is really working is my ankle. If even if I were not to move the knee very much at all, I would still be able to forward, back, forward, back. And it is that scuff and then bring up, scuff and then bring up. 
that is creating that noise, right? And the more you can work that ankle and keep your foot in control, the easier and more specific those sounds are gonna be. So let's try again. Let's just do four shuffles in a row, nice, even. Ready, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. We forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Not bad. Now we're gonna switch that up and we're actually going to go scuff, back, down. We're gonna drop the ball and then drop the heel as well, okay? Because we haven't really worked on with that heel at all. So let's get that involved there. Shuffle, which is scuff, back, then drop the ball, drop the heel. Five, six, seven, eight. We one, two, drop, heel, one, two, drop, heel. One of the problems, of course, with working with a movable floor is that it moves. Let's try the left side, shall we? Same thing, let's start with just our shuffles, forward, back, forward, back, five, six, seven, let's do four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job. Now we're gonna go shuffle, drop the ball, drop the heel, shuffle, drop the ball, drop the heel. Ready, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, we shuffle. Full, drop, heel, shuffle, drop, heel. Very nice. All of this is working very nicely. So the other thing we're gonna practice today, not a shuffle, but what we call a flap, okay? And what that means is that instead of pulling back after you've gone forward, we go forward with that scuff, scuff, and then we drop the ball right there, okay? Now this can lead to some very quick sounds. When you flap, you, and all I'm doing is exactly what I just showed you. Scuff, drop, scuff, drop, scuff, drop, scuff, drop. Let's try that with our left, ready? One more time, five, six, nice and slow. We're going scuff, drop, scuff, drop, scuff, drop, scuff, drop. This is often, of course, most often followed by a heel because it's a nice, easy three sound. Scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel. Slow that down a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight. We're scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel. Other side. Five, six, seven, eight. We're scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel, scuff, drop, heel. Can we make it faster? Heel, full lap, heel, full lap, heel. Let's do four more. Full lap, heel, full lap, heel. Woo, that last one, I got a little concerned. Okay, how are we feeling? Are we doing okay? Let's put this all together very, very quickly. We only have a couple more minutes, ready? So we're gonna do shuffle, toe, heel, shuffle, toe, heel, and then full lap heel four times, okay? So nice and a little bit slower, and then we'll move it into a little bit faster. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. We're shuffle, toe, heel, shuffle, toe. Now full lap, full lap heel, full lap heel, Full lap heel, full lap heel. Good job. Other side, ready? And shuffle, toe, heel, full, drop, heel, fast. Full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel. Let's try again, ready? Shuffle with the drop heel and then the full lap heel, ready? Shuffle, toe, heel, shuffle, ball, full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel. Now, other side and go. Shuffle, ball, heel, shuffle, ball, heel, and full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel. Great job, everybody. I am so proud of you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to practice those easy moves. I want you to see if there's any other combinations that you like doing, any other, um, what we would call a scuff, or a pull or any kind of drops, whether you're dropping the boom, boom toe of your uh, shoes or whether you're dropping your heels. Uh, we also have something that is I love, which is just called a stomp, which is where both the ball and the heel come down together, right? See how that sounds when you are stomping with those taps on your feet. I love it. Okay, you guys, as you guys well know, thank you for joining me 
for arts at a distance, there's only a couple of things that we ask of you. Are you ready? Stay safe, be happy, make art. Thank you, bye.